This story begins with the man who once had it all. This is a tale of a man with a fulfilling nine to five employment. A man who's had brushes with greatness of all sizes and statures. A man who's regularly gone toe to ball against all obstacles in his way. All to come home every day to a devoted and loving wife. Yep, this is a man who had carved out his own slice of paradise and achieved what we all strive for, the American dream. But as it so happens, even in the best of times, that little slice of paradise can blow up in your face like a nuclear bomb. And, uh, speaking of dropping bombs... This is a tale of a man only known as the Postal Dude. Along with his stalwart companion, always at his side, Champ. These two have toughed it out together through the thickest and thin. And after nearly losing it all, they come to realize that all they really need in life is their health, happiness, and that white trash heap on wheels they fondly call home. If they had remembered to lock the door, that is. Crap. Damn it, champ, I thought you were guarding the car. Figures. But in these fortuitous times, even when it seems like Lady Liberty has turned her last trick, the land of opportunity could spread her legs wide open with an invitation to new and discovered prospects. A steady job, a welcoming home, a loving family, and a car in the driveway. That's the American dream we all strive for. But, as our heroes are soon to realize, sometimes that dream can turn itself into a nightmare. I'm gonna need some money if I hope to get anything done in this town. I suppose I need a job, but I ought to find a way to advertise my much sought after employment qualities to the public first. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything around here that can help me promote myself. Ah, the perfect canvas to proclaim my message. Fresh from the tap. Oh, man. The ideal utensil to communicate my... Perhaps I should find an appropriate surface. ...to write on. Perfect. With this baby, I'll be gainfully employed in no time. Ugh, it's a good thing I had two of those. Wow, look at the size of that thing. Someone must be compensating for something. You there! I have an appetite for some full-time employment. If you haven't eaten anything for a while, don't worry. It all still tastes the same. Rats. Can't get discouraged yet, though. I'm starving for some good paying jobs. Care to throw me a bone? I got a fever. And the only you. prescription is some more. Perhaps I should expand my search to other like individuals. Just by talking to you. Go away. 
Ah, what a shame. But I can't let Hi there. I've got a hunger for good work with good pay. Damn. But I'm not settling for unemployment. A job has to come sooner or later. You're looking at the ideal job candidate who's just craving some work. You look like a bum and you smell like one. Oh, Is that food enough for you? Light, and then you peel them. Phew, this job hunting's tough work. But I'm not giving up just yet. I'm famished. You got any good employment opportunities on you? You don't look like hiring material to me. Jeez, tough crowd. But I know there's employment waiting for me, Jeff. Hey, I'm a hungry man who's hankering for some honest employment. You hungry? Hi. Then have yourself a hey, steaming you helping out. Get lost. I'm sorry. Shucks, so close. I can feel a job opportunity coming at any moment now. Oh, man. I. Yo. I. I. Oh, man. Oh, man. I. Where were you planning on going to lunch? Oh, man. I'm gonna. Oh, man. That sucks. These things are always turning green and falling off. I'm starving okay. for some good paying jobs. Care to throw me a bone? I don't have work for you. It's all. Great seeing you again. Hmm. I should probably ask a different person. Well, what Hi there. I've got a hunger on? for good work with good pay. Don't touch me! I okay. suppose it would help if I asked someone else since I got a fever. And the only prescription is some work. If you want work, just go see that Mr. Bello guy at the job agency. Get out of here, freeloader! Now that's job hunting well done. I'm gonna need some money if I hope to get anything done in this town. Maybe there's some easy work to be found around here. Let's see. Ah, there it is. Ooh, yeah. <coughs> she it. Now that's a load off.
Hello? Is anyone here? No, no, please. Hello? Ah, a new client. Come in, come in. Make yourself comfortable. Maybe loosen your belt a little. What's it you need? Yeah, my wallet's feeling a little light right now, wherever it might be at the moment. You got any jobs that pay well? You're talking to the one and only Joseph Blow, son. Finding work is my speciality. I've got all the right connections in this town to put you into the right positions where you'll be obediently performing your duties. Assuming you have the right talents, of course. Tell me, can you put your ankles behind your head? No. I see. Well then, I'll have to refer to my conventional occupations list. But don't worry, it's all good paying, classy stuff. All I ask is that I take my standard referral fee from your wages, naturally. Standard business practices, I assure you. Come here, let me show you what I got. Too easy. The city's in need of another subsurface sanitation attendant. You'll get to see a whole nother side of our fine town. Hmm. The job site's just down this manhole. We can discuss going down the other holes later. An associate is calling for an extra wildlife reclamation expert to assist him. I can tell you're the animal lover type. Being a big animal lover myself. Now, where is that? Meet my associate here and show him you're a man who's intimately familiar with the little creatures of nature. The jail, I mean, the local correctional institution, is looking for, um, a reformatory chaperone. <laughs> Don't be too rough on their clientele. Unless that's what you're into. Let's see. The institution is located here. Give them a good show of your penal qualities. 